Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Stansfield's education videos. Today we're going to be taking a look at uh, how to make a perfectly round selection. And so we're in Photo P here and this is for the Pan Planet project but this is a, a, a way to make a selection that is perfectly round. The tool we, that we need is uh, the elliptical marquee tool or here in Photo P it's called the ellipse select. The elliptical marquee tool is a Photoshop term. And in order to get the ellipse select from the rectangular select, what we need to do is click and hold the rectangular select, and then this will become an option. You can also see here it says M next to it. So if we actually have the rectangle select tool um, selected, if we hold the shift key and then hit M, it'll cycle through those two between the rectangle and the ellipse. So we want the ellipse. And uh, you've got some choices here. So if you go up here to free, you can actually set a fixed ratio. And the default is one to one. That's what we want. That's gonna give us a perfect circle. Now, if you uh, wanted to get a free ellipsis, what that's gonna do is it's going to allow you to create any kind of oval shape. But watch, even in the free selection mode, if I hold the shift key down, it's gonna snap to that one to one ratio. So I can get that circle just by using a keyboard shortcut. Now in this case, I'm going to um, deselect. So I can go up here to select and then deselect. You can also see the shortcut key on a Mac is Command D. On a Chromebook, it's gonna be Control D. I'm gonna undo that and I'm just gonna go up here to this fixed ratio one to one because that's gonna make our lives a lot easier. So we want a perfect circle. Now, what happens if I missed the starting point? I can't move this selection unless I use a keyboard shortcut. So this is gonna be an important thing to know. When you're making a selection, before you let go, I'm still holding the mouse button down. If I hold the space bar key with my left hand, I can move now that mouse around and I can uh, select the starting point. And for this kind of project, you've got a couple of choices here. You can see that this particular pan, very rusty. <clears throat> Um, you know, you could, you know, include that sort of lighter halo if you wanted to, um, or not, right? So you can make it a little smaller and just have the dark parts of this image be the outside of your planet. It's really up to you. Um, you know, one of the things that um, we've seen in uh, some of the example photos is actually a little halo on the side. So what I'm going to do here is actually move it over so that I get the uh, highlight on part of the photo. Maybe not all of the photo. And so there's my selection, all right? Fine tune it, right? Um, choose that fixed ratio, that one to one, and then use the space bar to kind of move the selection, fine tune the size. And then the next step is uh, we're gonna do a couple of things. So um, to just uh, fill everything else with black, this is what you're gonna do, all right? But um, you're gonna go to select and then select the inverse. You can see there's another shortcut key, shift. Command I or Shift Control I. Now everything except that area is selected. And we could go to Fill, Edit Fill, or Shift F5 is the shortcut key on this keyboard here. And we're gonna fill with, here it says foreground, but let's just fill with black. All right, and we're gonna select uh, normal blend mode 100% and click OK. So here's one way to get a uh, an image. Um, that has uh, a planet and then the black background. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this one step further. I'm gonna invert the selection again. So I'm gonna select the inverse, Shift Command I. And then I'm going to uh, take this selection and paste it onto a new layer. I may wanna use this um, planet kind of uh, as, as its own layer. So what I'm gonna do here uh, is the shortcut key is Control J or Command J, but if I go to Layer and then New, Layer via Copy, this is the uh, menu item. Or you can see here, Duplicate Layer is Command J, Command J, Layer, layer via Copy. Either way, both can do the same thing. Uh, no, incorrect. So let's undo that and then we're gonna go um, Layer, New, Layer via Copy. Okay, so these two things uh, have the same shortcut key and uh, are actually different. So duplicate layer and layer, layer via copy. This is what we want, layer via copy. Um, and what we want is to have this planet kind of by itself just uh, in an invisible background. The last step here, I'm gonna add another layer, okay? And I'm gonna bring layer two to the background and I'm gonna fill that with black too. So edit fill and then fill with black again. So. 
Now we've got three layers, the background that's all black, the background layer, and then layer one. And layer one, if we take the background away, if we were to delete this layer, now what we can do is grab the move tool and take layer one, and now that planet will go anywhere we want in that field, um, which is kind of nice. So this is uh, what you want to have. Uh, you want to have a black background. You want to have a um, planet layer on its own layer before you do any kind of edits or start any kind of um, background substitutions. Um, this is how you make a selection and uh, create the image on its own.